Okay, let's take a look at the palette. A lot of people are always asking me, what do I do with uh, uh, my, my dried up paint? Uh, this is uh, one of my studio palettes. It's, it's a little bit larger. Now this is the palette that goes into my French box easel. Notice that they are uh, the same, the, the same, just smaller. Um, let's look at this uh, palette right here. Look at this paint right here. Do you see how it is really, it is, it is dry. But look how it's moving around so that there's wet paint inside of it. And look at this. So there's actually some good paint still left here if you'd like to use it. What you can do is this, is that it has a film on it. So just take your palette knife and just sort of pull it open. And now there's some wet paint showing. But this is quite, quite dry. I'm going to clean my palette. Now inside of this there is some wetter paint. Look at this. Now look at the amount of paint that is there. See, I can pull these skins away, throw these away, but here is good paint. Over here is the same thing. Let's pull this skin away and see there's some nice paint underneath there. Now the thing about it is, is that this paint is very, very thick compared to that which comes out of the tube. So what I do in my studio is sometimes I have a use for this thick dried up paint, which is thicker. And what I'll do is next to this, I'll squeeze out some good paint out of the tube. So think about this. When I'm painting, I'm going to have fresh paint, which is uh, nice and creamy and uh, uh, very buttery. And I've got this really thick, uh, almost, uh, almost dried up paint. So if I need to do something smooth, I'll use this. If I want to do something rough, I'll use this. And, to be real honest with you, sometimes, if you're working with texture, sometimes this stuff right here can actually be smeared on your canvas. And look how texturous this is. Now, if it's not the right color or whatever, that's okay, but it could dry, and then you could put another wash or glaze or more paint on top of it.